The Seattle Mariners acquire all-star outfielder Randy Orozarena. Let's talk about it. So late last night, at least East Coast time, the Seattle Mariners acquired outfielder Randy Arozarena from the Tampa Bay Rays. And we're going to go over some of his stats and why maybe some Mariners fans aren't really super happy about it. We'll, we'll go over that. And the Mariners are the second ones on the trade deadline block and in acquisitions. This was a very unexpected move. A lot of Mariners fans didn't really think much would happen up until Tuesday, but we are glad it did because we need as much help as we can get going into this White Sox series which we shouldn't even be worried about. But right now with this offense, I am extremely worried. But anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about acquiring Randy Arozarena. So first we're going to talk about the full trade. So the Seattle Mariners received outfielder Randy Arozarena and the Tampa Bay Rays received outfielder Aiden Smith, right-hander Brody Hopkins, and a player to be named later. So outfielder Aiden Smith is number 12 in the Seattle Mariners' top 30 prospects, according to MLB Pipeline, and Brody Hopkins is number 22 out of 30. Both of them were drafted in 2023 and both play at the single-A level, and both are having very good seasons so far. But with all due respect, I know this may have hurt the Mariners. This is definitely not painful necessarily for fans We got because we got rid of two single-A guys for an all-star bat that we really, really needed. So one thing amongst Mariner fans so far is a lot of people are very, very excited, but there is a little bit of the bunch that say Randy Rosarena is only hitting 213 and only has a WRC plus of 110, so it really isn't anything crazy. For Randy standards, he is definitely having a down year because he really started off struggling earlier this season. But once you dig a little bit deeper into his stats, you'll see exactly why this is a great acquisition for the Seattle Mariners. So for starters, one thing you have to take into consideration is Randy Rosarena, at least based on what I'm seeing, will not be a free agent until after the 2026 season. So you have him for next year and the year after in terms of his ARB three year and his ARB four year. So that is a huge plus. Randy Rosarena is not going to be a rental. So for me, there are three huge reasons why Randy Rosarena is a huge pickup for the Seattle Mariners. The one bad reason in my mind is that he does have a high strikeout percentage, especially this year. It is over 24%. So, you know, that's just me comparing apples to apples, but he is a huge pickup in my mind. I am super excited to have Randy as part of the squad. Now, like I had said, some fans are concerned with his 213 batting average, but again, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into those stats. So in Randy's last 30 games, he is hitting 287 with six home runs and 15 RBIs with a slugging of 546. In his last 15 games, he's hitting 288 with four home runs and eight RBIs. And in his last seven games, he's hitting 333 with three home runs and six RBIs, as well as an 833 slugging across his last seven games. So Randy has definitely been hot at the plate. And just to give you a little bit of statistics based on June 1st of this year, since June 1st of this year, Randy Rosarena is hitting 290 with a WRC plus of 166. That is 16th in Major League Baseball amongst qualified hitters during that span. So whether Randy started off the year hot or not, he is definitely hot right now, and the Seattle Mariners desperately need a hot bat to get them going. And now this is looking way deeper into the future, assuming that hopefully the Mariners can make the playoffs. Randy will be a huge help. So here's a crazy statistic for you. So the highest career slugging percentage in the postseason in MLB history with at least a minimum of 100 plate appearances. The highest career slugging is one Babe Ruth with a 744, second Lou Gehrig with a 731, and third Randy Rosarena with a 690. So he definitely performs in the clutch and especially in the playoffs. Again, that's me looking way deep in the future, but I am hoping that we do make the playoffs. But one thing must be clear is that this cannot be all the Seattle Mariners do. This is a great start. You still have all your prospect capital in terms of top 10 prospects they can go out and still use in a trade for possibly someone like Vladdy. So please, let's get that straight that this is a great first move for the Seattle Mariners and I'm super excited about it, but this cannot be all that they do. And I'm sure most of you know this already, but Randy is most likely going to be playing left field. That is his main position. He's He's played 88 out of the 100 games he's played this season in left field, so that's probably going to be his spot, assuming that maybe our outfield is Randy Rosarena, Julio Rodriguez, Victor Robles, and Luke Rayleigh when Julio gets back, which is a pretty solid outfield if I do say. Half of them used to be Tampa Bay Rays, but this is a great deal for the Seattle Mariners, and Mariners fans should be very excited to hopefully see what else the Mariners are brewing. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and we will see you guys if there are hopefully more trades within the next few days, but otherwise, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.